year in a row, hundreds gathered at Willow Island to celebrate gay pride. This year's celebration featured three entertainment stages, a health tent, and booths from local retailers. One of the organizers says this weekend is an opportunity to call attention to gay rights and to celebrate the LGBT community. To me, it's like any other cultural festival that we might have in Madison, where we might be celebrating different cultures from around the country. In this case, we're celebrating the, the LGBTQ community and support, trying to show our support. Tomorrow, they will host a pride parade, which starts on the Capitol Square and heads down State Street starting at 1 o'clock. 1,800 people are expected to attend the cultural festival this weekend, where some say they are outraged by a national retailer's decision to financially back an anti-gay rights candidate. News 3's Margot Spann joins us now with this looks like a very hot debate, Margot. That's right, Maria. Back in July, Target donated $150,000 to a political fund, but that money was given to a conservative gubernatorial candidate in Minnesota. Now some Target shoppers in Wisconsin say they aren't happy about it. Uh, our money goes to support LGBT causes in the community, so, but I won't be shopping at Target. Michael Schultz is one of thousands of shoppers nationwide choosing to boycott Target stores. He's upset at the company's decision to donate money that ended up supporting a political candidate who doesn't support gay rights. Yeah, I was a frequent shopper of, of Target, but I'm currently not shopping there any longer until they at least make a comparable donation to um, LGBT um, rights and organizations. In a statement, the company's CEO says their donation to political organization Minnesota Forward was intended to support economic growth and job creation. He says he didn't anticipate how it would affect some and apologized. He also pledged a commitment to fostering an environment that supports and respects the rights and beliefs of all individuals. Dana Dahl says large corporations don't belong in politics. Being a corporation, should they really be in the political realm? Should they serve all people? She has also decided not to shop at Target. It makes me a little angry. I don't want my money to go to a cause that I don't believe in. Um, so it just it kind of sours my image of Target as well because, again, why would I want to support someone who doesn't support myself, my friends, my other family members? People we talk to say it's not about politics. It's about people. People need to get with the program and that there's nothing wrong with being gay and there's nothing wrong with gay marriage and we all deserve a shot at happiness. The nationwide boycott to the nationwide movement rather to boycott Target has been going on for weeks. Target CEO says the company plans to review their policy about contributing to political campaigns. News 3's Margot Span reporting tonight. Margot, thank you very much for that report.